Hey guys, this is Josh again from SC2 Strategies, and right now we're going to go through the second part of my Zergling Rush strategy. Alright, so here's pretty much the uh, climax of the match. We got uh, my Nidus Worm being popped up in the opponent's base, and we see it automatically just start spinning out Zergling. And I have about 40 plus Zerglings in my Nidus network, so this is going to be pretty devastating to the opponent. Here we see the Zerglings take out the pylon and one of the cannons from the Protoss player. Some zealots are coming in to defend the base, but uh, they're not going to be able to do much. One of his gateways goes down. Another zealot is being made. At this point, it's uh, it's important to not focus on the um, just the, like the researching buildings and more on the unit producing buildings and um, in this case it's Protoss players so we have to focus on the uh, on the pylons as well. Here we get all the uh, unit creating buildings down and then we take out the mineral gatherers etc. So here are some uh, stray zerglings take out a cannon and we see the rest of my Zerglings just demolishing the leftover buildings because there's no more units in his base other than mine. So we see his Nexus's shield go down. Uh, one of his extractors, I think that's what they're called, go down. Um, he puts up a, a tiny assault on my base, but um, the amount of Zerglings, 18, no, sorry, uh, yeah, 18 Zerglings at a time that come out pretty pretty much defend my base, and he isn't capable of doing much damage, if any, actually. So we see here his zealots are being attacked by my zerglings, and uh, one goes down, but the other manages to uh, survive. At this point I have about I think it's 12 Zerglings in production, so as soon as my cocoons are finished, he doesn't have much of a chance. Um, dumb move by the Protoss player here, he's attacking one of my cocoons, and I think they have a 10 defense, so he's not going to be able to do any damage to it. Here, all my Zerglings just come out and start attacking. And he has two more Zealots in his base that are attacking my remaining Zerglings. See here that he manages to kill all but no, he kills all my Zerglings, but I managed to kill one of the Zealots. So the remaining Zerglings that defended my base are now going to go through my Nidus network and come up my Nidus Worm and uh, defend my Nidus Worm from being destroyed. At this point, um, after the Nexus was destroyed, I knew he had another one because it didn't say he was about to be revealed. So right now I'm just uh, finishing off his base. I um, tried to take out this pylon, but the cannons defend it, and then I attacked the cannons, which wasn't a very smart move in my opinion, but I did it anyway, destroy one. Um, my reinforcement zerglings managed to come in, destroy a pylon, destroy the gateway, and the other pylon, and then the cannons as well. So here are the ones that automatically attack the gateway. I just leave and use the remaining ones to attack the pylons. Here I take out the pylons so that instead of having to take out both cannons, I can just take out the one pylon and not have to worry about the cannons firing at me. And all, all but four were killed by the, um, by the cannons before the pylon was destroyed. And here, are my remaining apes are going to just take out the rest of his base. <clears throat> I auto sent my zerglings to um to rally inside the Nidus network, so I could get them at either in my base or if I need to in my opponent's starting base.
at this point I'm unsure of where the opponent is and then I do see his nexus up and I so I attack the pylon just in case there was a building uh, in the fog of war which I wasn't certain of and then I attack the zealot he doesn't pose much of a threat although his one air unit does manage to kill one of my overlords and we see here my zergling just going to attack his nexus his one air unit isn't doing much damage right now it does finish off my overlord but I didn't really need it so here we see my four zerglings come out and we see my zergling train as I like to call it rush out of my base and go and attack his ne nexus this is coming out of my nidus worm and his um, phoenix I believe it's called is only able to um, pull one of my units into the air and with Zergs it's not really helpful for him. And we see here his Nexus go down and he leaves the game. So that's a win for me using the Zergling rush strategy and just massing Zerglings the entire game. Um, at this point I just like to say thanks for watching the video and this is the end of part two of two. This is Josh from SE2 Strategies. Um, we'd like you to subscribe or rate or even comment just on things you would like to see. Um, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.